Thank you very much for this warm introduction and uh, good evening to all of you also from the EPFL presidency. Uh, this is a special day for EPFL because it allows us to showcase actually what we are doing in order to address the SDGs, the Sustainable Development Goals, as developed by the UN. It's a special day for us because many of you don't actually know what we do, and we actually didn't know what we do uh, uh, on that front either. You know, we have engaged in a massive effort in order to understand what all the labs are doing to address the SDGs. Uh, and I don't want to foreshadow too much, but it's for me a, a ray of hope what we are doing here. And I will explain this in a few minutes in more detail what I mean with that. Uh, we have significant activities along these lines. Uh, for the first time we have transparency of what we are doing. And I think this is uh, something truly magnificent. And I want to thank the team who did this in, in, in strong uh, with very warm words already right now. Um, if you think about EPFL's contribution to the Sustainable Development Goals, uh, this is uh, an area of activity for us that is deeply embedded in research, but it also touches on education and it touches on innovation. And uh, Davor and Bea in the introduction already pointed out that uh, we don't have too much time to accomplish the goals set forth by the SDG agenda. And time is running out, you know, and this is... This is the, the bad news of the evening, yes. Uh, the good news is that we have technology projects that can be scaled up, that we can work with with industry players and therefore have an impact uh, that is not only 10 years in the future but more immediate. Yeah? We will later on hear about the sustainable development goals because they address a wide range of activity sets that the UNS specified. We have the pleasure of having Thomas Gass among us. He was instrumental in setting up, defining the SDGs, so I don't go too much into this, but they cover a lot of subjects, some of which Bia and uh, Davor have mentioned, but they are much broader, and together they, I think, define a very important agenda to make this world a better place. If you think big picture, we are actually in a very privileged situation here in Switzerland. You know, we are a very wealthy country. We are in a neutral situation, a neutral political situation, where we can work with all kinds of players, bring them together, on our soil and address problems on a scale that maybe other nations cannot do. Yeah. Uh, what this means is that Switzerland provides an excellent hub for addressing the problems that we will be hearing about tonight. And I think this you know, it's, it's not only about Switzerland, it's about EPFL as well as a technological school. We all know that EPFL is a leading technological player. Uh, it's actually a, a force to be reckoned with. We are a campus with 11,000 students. 2,000 PhD students, 350 professors, 6,000 staff. So this is quite a large enterprise. We have a budget of about a billion, and we tend to be uh, doing quite well in the rankings. You know, you see that in the rankings down here. Uh, but even more so, what is important for the evening, that is uh, we have strong competences along the key technology domains that you see here listed. And without going into the details, uh, I just want to say that this provides a strong base for addressing the sustainable development goals from a technology perspective. Uh, this provides our opportunity to actually, and you mentioned the word opportunity, and I'd like to see it as an opportunity, uh, our opportunity to, to, to develop technologies and apply them to sustainable and social goals. So it's the application of technology that matters here, because we all know that technologies can be applied to multiple ends, and one of the most important ends nowadays is, of course, sustainability and social causes. In that sense, you know, we have a moral obligation, actually, having, living in a country that is resource rich, living in a country that is neutral, living in a country where you have um, a lot of educated, well-educated people defining the technological frontier. We have this moral obligation to do something. But we also have a unique strategic opportunity. And if you think about it, um, all the players around us, around Lake of Geneva, around this region, I think we might be in a, in a unique position. And this is where EPFL can play a vital role. If you think about the players at, at the Lake of Geneva, we have the international organizations just, many of them just down the road. We have uh, non-governmental organizations, NGOs, we have key educational institutions. And I think a technological school can and should have a very important role in this equation and can actually put its unique stamp on this region and shine worldwide with its solution. Why? Because technological solutions have a certain power. 
Technological solutions can be scaled quickly. It's unlike a human being where you have to have add another human being to address some uh, problem. You know, that's not really well scalable. A technological solution can be scaled. So our task here at EPFL is to look for technological solutions that can address these problems that are uh, named with the SDGs. We can test for their impact. That's an important step. Uh, we want to make sure that we address the problem properly with our technological solutions. And one, once we are sure, then we can scale it up. And there we actually need the help of the NGOs. We need the help of people, of organizations with deep pockets, because scaling up is something that is not coming for free. That is actually requiring a lot of resources. Uh, this rapid scaling is possible with technology. So in that sense, this is the ray of hope that I've been mentioning earlier. We have the opportunity to, to scale up technology at a rapid pace, but it takes lots of companies, lots of players, NGOs, etc., to help us on this front. Because scaling up on a global scale means also that we have to cross frontiers to work with parties that might not work with each other. And we see later on a, a fascinating project, the Red Sea project, that is exactly doing that, I think, in a very exemplary manner. Um, but we also can have reach by working with industry, by providing industry with novel technological solutions. Think about new materials, ways to reduce CO2 emissions. And let me give you just one statistic that I found very striking. This was in the news about 10 days ago, and Volkswagen said, and this is not about the diesel scandal, this is a completely different picture. Volkswagen said, hey, if you sum up our, all our CO2 emissions of Volkswagen cars, 1% is for the passenger cars, 1% is for the vans and lorries, etc. So in total, Volkswagen cars are responsible for 2% of the CO2 emissions. So if you as an industry player find ways to work with key technological institutions, with your own R&D department to develop solutions that can reduce the CO2 emission of cars, and Volkswagen has stated that they want to go electric, yeah? so you, have, you are ultimately carbon neutral, this can have a quick and profound impact. Yeah? So in this sense, the two axes that are important to us at EPFL when it comes to, to scaling up is first startup creation, testing, and then rapid scaling, but it's also working with key industry players. And those of you who work with uh, industry, please approach us. We are extremely approachable. We answer our own emails. Uh, please don't hesitate to get in touch with us. Uh, I mentioned uh, during my talk already that it takes a joint effort. What we are doing is we are creating proactively a platform, partnerships. Here you see an example of our Tech for Impact NGO Council. We are assembling, I think, a very important set of NGOs to discuss the latest problems, to get an intimate understanding of the problems the world is facing in terms of the SDGs and what that actually means in terms of certain activity sets as exemplified by, by these key players. So in essence, I want to invite you tonight to understand better what EPFL is doing on this front of the SDGs. And I think we have some very fascinating success stories that we can already discuss and tell about. You have on your seats a report that summarizes what we are doing at EPFL. Uh, Dr. Julia Binder will talk about this later on in more detail. Um, but you all can support the students in this room. You can support the initiative. You can join the classes that we are offering. Uh, we are very ambitious in developing an, an offline and an online program on this front. Uh, the researchers, of course, you can join the effort. We are, uh, have grants available for, for your technological uh, developments. Industry, of course, I just mentioned this, NGOs, the international organizations, politicians. We know that we have the honor of, of having a number of politicians in the room tonight as well. Uh, dedicated individuals, of course, we cannot do this for free, so if you want to support us intellectually, also financially, we don't send you away. And, uh, of course, the general public, because we want, what we want to signal tonight is that EPFL is a strong force on the SDG front. We can do together a lot of good. I want to thank, with my final words, the team, and this is a big thank you, so I wrote this in capital letters. They have done something very exciting and very important over the last year in particular. The Tech for Impact initiative exists since two years, so this was not a response of EPFL towards the Fridays of Future. For future demonstrations out there, we have been working on this 
for much longer time also with Campus Durabel and Essential Tech as key players. Uh, but here I want to thank in particular Dr. Julia Binder, you will see later on presenting the report, Beatrice uh, Scaglioni, who you already have seen, and Davor Kozanic, who we've also seen as well. Uh, they worked uh, with a lot of effort to collect the data, to analyze the data, to put this great evening together. And I want to thank also the many people that make this event outstanding. I don't go through uh, the names individually. You will see them later on in detail, and they will be introduced in detail. Uh, we have an exciting set of speakers, and I want to also thank Ingenieur de Monde as a partner to this event. Thank you for all of your support. With this said, I hope at the end of the evening you share with me the impression that there's a ray of hope. Of course, EPFL cannot solve all the world's problems, but if we can contribute in a meaningful way, I think that's our chance, that's our obligation, that's our opportunity. Thank you very much. Have a nice evening.